Hello everybody, welcome to part 3 of the Call of Duty World at War Custom Zombie Mapping Tutorial Reboot. Um, I just wanted to go over something quickly before we actually go into what we're going to do today, which is exploring Radiant and starting to get a feel for it before we start designing our maps. And that is the Mod Tool Files folder that I have compiled. Now, by the time I am making this, recording this right now, um, the first the first video has been uploaded and this file has been attached. Luckily, I caught this before I uploaded the first video, and I have added it. So, if you haven't watched the first video and you're just watching this one, um, just a quick review. If you don't have the mod tools, you're just going to go to Game Updates, install all of the, or extract them to your root folder one by one. Here's a reminder um, in case you forget. After Game Updates, you go to Mod Tools, do the same thing, and then Script Placer, extract any Script Placer you want to the root folder. But one thing I missed in the first tutorial is Sniper Bolts Prefabs. Now, this is going to be very important because we're going to be using these, and you may be wondering, what's Sniper Bolts Prefabs? Why do we need them? And basically, Sniper Bolt is a guy who decided to make everybody's life, or everybody's life really easy, and he basically compiled these prefabs so that we can skip all of the boring stuff, setting up our boxes, setting up our barriers and everything like that, and jump right into actually mapping and doing things. So Sniper Bolt has constructed some boxes for us, uh, the perk machines, the barriers, um, everything like that. So we don't need to set that up. He's done that for us because he's a really great person and he's going to make our life really easy. And we are going to go ahead and grab his files here. So his RAR file. And we're just going to do the same thing we did with all the other RAR files. So we're just going to select everything and extract it to the Call of Duty World at War root folder. And once you've done that, we can go ahead and get into today's video. So today, we're going to be getting a feel for Radiant. Now, you may remember the launcher from the end of the last tutorial. Uh, your map from the script placer should be here, which mine is YT, uh, YouTube. Once you've done this, you can just, or if you haven't already, by the way, run the converter because you need to convert your assets before you run it so run the converter and then once you've done that you can go ahead and click this beautiful radiant button and you will get this come up this is called the radiant editor and this is what treyarch used in the call of duty world at war to design the maps uh, this isn't just zombie maps by the way this is used for multiplayer maps for single player like campaign maps for zombie maps everything in the game was designed in this editor. Now you may, may be looking at this and going, what the hell's going on here? And I'm going to explain that in just a second. Now you also may be wondering, because uh, I know I was when I've seen other people, you may be wondering how I got this darker grid, because if you are opening Radiant for the first time, you're not going to have this look like I do. You're going to have a white grid with these gray lines. And basically what I've done here is I have... Um, changed my colors because I find that the white is very contrasty and it's very blinding to me and if you're the same person uh, if you find that the same you can just go to miscellaneous up here go to colors uh, you can go to themes and change it to a theme or you can just do what I did and play around with these different options like the grid background the grid major minor text and blocks and you can change these colors and play around with them and this is what I have here so that's the answer to that question. So let's get into what Radiant actually is. So right here we have the actual map designer. This is where we're going to be actually drawing brushes and adding objects and doing all that fun stuff. This is going to be our preview window, and this is basically our textures palette. And this, I am i don't even really know what this is. I'm just not going to really bother with it. I think it's more to do with the height and the level. I'm not really going to bother with it. Um, so yeah, so once we do that, we can just go ahead and go to File, Open. And in here, you will not have all of these maps. Uh, actually, you might. The only one that I've really added in here is S-Base, which is a map I am working on. But you will see your map that you created in your script placer. In my case, Nazi Zombie YT. But you'll also see the Nazi Zombie YT patch. We are not going to touch the patch. Once again, this is only for compiling. We're not going to bother with this right now. We're just going to bother with our regular map name, not the patch um, substrate of it. So we're just going to go ahead and open this. And once you have, you'll see a pre-built map that Sniper Bolt has made for us. And this is basically just a little testing map. And uh, 
we're going to actually rip some things out of this map. We're not just going to delete the whole thing, this, just so that we don't have to add them in ourselves, um, because we're really lazy. <laughs> and I'm just going to take you guys on a little tour of what's going on here. So we have a trigger zone, that's for things like buying doors and buying the box. And here's some of the things that he has in here. So as you can see, he has the perk machines and all of that fun stuff set up. He has the Hellhound. Uh, he has the wall weapons, the walls, of course, the power, the pack-a-punch. Uh, the barriers, the zombies, and he has all of that set up, but, like, that's pretty obvious, you see a dog, and you're like, oh, I know that's a dog, and I see wall weapons, I know that's a wall weapon, but you might be wondering what all these other things are, like, what are these beautiful white diamonds, uh, in the sky, <laughs> but basically what these are, are, these are lights, and, well, it's pretty self-explanatory what they do, but, a light is just something that emits light, and this is going to, if you don't put any lights in your map, it's going to be pretty dark, and it's going to be a pretty bad map unless it's placed outside. Now, this map, it's not too bad since it's just a testing map, it's not a big deal, but this map breaks a very fundamental concept of design when you're designing inside maps, and that concept is you do not want light coming from nowhere. Uh, you see these lights and you're just like, oh, look, there's light in the room, but where is it coming from? And the answer is nowhere, because you just threw a light in there. You don't have any light source or a model to sort of make it look like it's coming from a source. Now, this is fine because it's just a test map, but in your actual levels, you're going to want to make sure your light actually comes from somewhere so that your map makes sense. Uh, and this isn't just for Call of Duty zombie maps or Call of Duty maps at all. This is for all game design. If you want to go into game design, this is one fundamental concept you need to learn about inside map design is that you need to make sure that your light comes from somewhere and that it logically makes sense. So those are lights. This is a big trigger zone. This is basically zoning. Uh, we're not going to get into that quite yet. There's a door. And you might see this volume, and you're going to go, what's this volume thing that I have? And I can't see it from the outside, but I can see it. Right? Sorry, I can't see it from the inside, but I can see it from the outside. And the volume is basically for trigger zoning. That's for triggering spawns and stuff like that. We're also going to get into that later. A light grid volume, this is for basically controlling your lights. We're going to add all this in later, like one of the last steps of the map when we actually start getting it ready for compiling. Right out here, we got our zombie spawners. These are our barriers. Uh, in the last tutorial series, we built these ourselves. Uh, but in this one, Sniper Bolt has done that for us because he's really great. And you might be seeing all these pink boxes, and you're like, what are these pink boxes? They look so weird, and you don't see them in the map when you play them. And these pink boxes are what we like to call path nodes. And path nodes allow the zombies to think. Uh, this is basically one big brain for the zombie. And let's say we didn't have path nodes in our map. And we had, we had path nodes going to the window so they can get inside our map, but not inside the map. Your zombie would come through the window. And he would shake his head, look at the sky, and looking like he's looking for answers uh, from the universe. And he's just going to stand there. He's not going to do anything. And that's because you don't have any path nodes. Now, one easy way you can grasp this is if you've ever done a glitch, uh, like an out-of-map glitch in a zombie map in any game, like, uh, you know, called, like even Black Ops, not even just World of War, and you go out of the map, and the zombies are just kind of standing there, just shaking their head, looking at the sky. And that is because... They do not have path nodes at that spot, and they're just kind of sitting there confused, like, I don't know what's going on here. And your path nodes basically tell the zombie what to do, so you're going to want to make sure you have them throughout your map. You, don't, you want to make sure they're not touching, but you also want to make sure they're not too far apart. We're going to get into that last, because it kind of like, it kind of makes your map design a little bit harder to do, because they're everywhere. <laughs> That's why we're going to add them in last. Now, these red things are very important. Now, these red boxes are called script structs. Now, this is the main player spawn. Now, these are the actual spawn points. And these are script nodes. We're not going to get into that quite yet. And this is a dog spawning script node. So what we want to basically rip from this is we want, um, we want this, 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 in case you're wondering, oh, in case you're wondering, um, I mean, we haven't quite gotten into the radiant controls yet. I'm just showing you around, but how you basically do this is you hit shift and then you left click. 
on the preview window and then you move around go to this one so let's select that one uh, what else do we want to take we want to take a zombie we want to take a dog because we're going to be doing dog spawning and that is basically all so you're going to hit your i key once you selected those that's going to select everything inverse and you're going to hit backspace and that's basically going to delete everything now actually i should have gotten into this before because well it's, it's going to be a little bit hard for you to do what i just showed you i'm sorry about that but i'm going to show you how to get around in this preview editor so basically this is the map designer and this is the uh the viewer the camera if you will so how you move this is basically if you right if you left click on it right now you're not going to do anything you need to shift and left click to select objects but if you right click on uh on the previewer that's where things get interesting move your mouse forward your camera goes forward move your mouse back goes back move it side to side you turn and then you can you know move it forward and side to side to sort of move around and you you'll get the idea and you'll just be able to move around and and that's what you do and let's say we wanted to select this dog we would hold shift and we would left click on him and we have selected the dog and that's how you do the last step um, i'm sorry about that i should have done that first now let's say we wanted to draw a brush here all we need to do is left click and drag and we have created a brush and because i had this texture selected it's going to paint it with the wood texture now let's say we wanted to make this wall bigger. Uh, we're gonna hit, go ahead and hit Control Tab, and this will switch our view from the top-down view to the side view, and we can change it, uh, change its height. I'm just gonna make it go to there, and hit it again, and you can change it to the side view again, but this time to the 90 degrees of that. And we hit it again, and we go back to the top-down view. We're not gonna get into that today. Um, that's where we're going to be actually map designing, but that's just like an introduction to what we're going to be doing. So believe me, this is going to be a little, little bit unintuitive to you at first. It's going to be a little bit daunting, and you're going to not quite get how to navigate. And you know what? That's perfectly fine. When I started using the map editor, I was completely lost, and you're just going to have to get a feel for it. I just taught you basically all the theory, but you're going to have to experiment with it and just kind of learn your way around things. Just play around move around the tutorial map. Um, you can use the arrow keys to move back and forward. Now the last two things that uh, we're gonna get into that are gonna be important. Let's say we wanted to move down or up vertically the camera. We can go ahead and hit C to move down and D to move back up and it's that simple. And we can do that while moving as well and we can go up and down and that is in case we want to change our level. Now let's say we wanted to change our angle. Let's say we want to go up here but we want to see the dog better. We can hit our Z key to make our angle go down or the A key to make our angle go up. And you can use these to navigate around your map and see things and make sure that your map is going the way you have planned it. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, please leave a like below, comment any questions or comments you guys have on the video, and subscribe. Tomorrow we will be getting into, um, we're going to start designing our map and actually putting walls in there and doing all that kind of fun stuff. Um, your map will probably look different than mine because you're going to want to make a map. I'm just doing mine for the tutorial, but um, yours is going to be the map that you want to design, obviously. But it will be relatively the same things, and you'll be able to follow, I promise. And I will see you guys tomorrow when we start that. And if you missed the download from the first tutorial, it is in the description, and I will see you guys tomorrow.